Hello guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Dixon, and today we are going to cover five topics. All five of these topics do have some importance to you guys, and not all of them are about weather. We might add a sixth topic if we have time for it, though. Um, first off, winter. We started off, um, we've already hit 25. That happened um, October 18th. And um, we hit 28 a couple days ago. So we're right in there. We're, we're in the possibility for snowfall. No uh, precipitation has occurred during those time periods, though. However, it is possible in the next two weeks or so that we do get a stray snow shower. Not really much accumulation expected. First accumulation is expected, however, before uh, the second week or during the second week in uh, December. So we will be keeping an eye on that. Veterans Day, we had a few things happen. Veterans Day was three day, or two days ago. I cannot count. Um, and we went from enhanced risk to zero risk. On Veterans Day, we had an enhanced risk. Yesterday, we had no risk whatsoever across the whole entire United States. It was really weird. We had nine tornadoes. Nine tornadoes. All of those in the Midwest. Those were being tracked. Uh, huge hail. Golf ball sized hail. Um, and then on the other side of the U.S. Um, this all happened in the Midwest. In like the West and Northwest. We had 40 inches of snow. Today 40 inches of snow. In Mount Rainier. Uh, 10 feet. More than 10 feet is expected on Mount Rainier. In the next few days. Nobody lives up as high where they're predicting all this snow to come but still Denver six inches or more they've already had a foot of snow and ski resorts open today so it was a great opening day uh, from what I've heard so that's all we got for that to sports real quick to take a break from all the weather we have Columbus Blue Jackets they're just failing like honestly they're failing they went like what oh and seven okay yeah they went oh and seven and then they fired their head coach. It was beautiful. And they've only had like four wins. They they like are like four and like ten or something crappy like that. And it's pretty freaking great. OSU, JT Barrett got arrested for a DUI or an OVI or some stupid charge because he was stupid. Anyway, he should be starting tomorrow. Is that right? You can talk. You don't know? Use your words. Okay, we don't have no clue. Anyway, Cardell Jones had a good game. Not so good game. It was a really boring game against Minnesota. Illinois tomorrow at noon. Um, for our forecast here, we are expecting cold temperatures along with this wind we've been having. This wind should die down from the 40 miles an hour or so that it was. Um... Yeah, it should die down from like the 40 miles an hour, whatever the heck it has been the past few days. Because that was very, very windy. And um, But that should die down. And temperatures will remain about the same as they have been. Um, yeah, I think that's really all we have. I'm trying to get the, the wind to see if we set a new wind record yesterday. Um, I wish I could just mess with this. In the past 24 hours, the temperature has only gone down 3 degrees. So it should be like plus or minus 3 degrees each hour for a while. Uh, okay, yeah, nothing changed. This weather station doesn't work anyway. Um, that's fine. I mean, it works great for temperature and stuff, but like it just screws up when there's wind and stuff. It like said it was 103. We did not hit 100 this year. And it said it was like negative 22 there was no way it was negative 22 and it says our maxed win since freaking the beginning of this year was 31 miles an hour no it wasn't uh new stuff coming to info weather so we do have a twitter at info weather one our instagram is still at info weather so stay tuned to those um as those will give you more updates than on youtube youtube should hopefully be picking back up that's my goal that we're starting with this video the website I was going to start working on the past two days, that did not happen. Possibly in the next two weeks I should be starting back up that website. And that website should become available 
by 2016 at the earliest and by summer of 2016 at the latest. I'm going to take a look to see if we have time. Oh, sure, why not? It's only been five minutes. Um, so, one of my favorite games of, to play is Clash of Clans. And I swear, if my dad comes down here and interrupts this video, he is going to get it more than my brother got it earlier for interrupting this video. <laughs> anyway, Clash of Clans has a great update coming Town Hall 11. Sneak peeks begin November 23rd for all those Clash of Clans fans out there. The update should be released uh, first or late first week or second week in December. Uh, plenty of changes to come to the game. I know you guys don't really give a crap because this is a weather channel, but that's okay. St. Charles Class in 2019 Cross Country. Um, our award ceremony is uh, tomorrow or Sunday. I cannot speak. Wait, I almost forgot. Hold up, everybody. Hold up. I'm going to make this the title of the video because I freaking forgot about it. Who knows what he's writing? Drum roll, please. You can announce it, Danny. 500 turkeys! Yep, we need 500 turkeys. So if you live anywhere in the Columbus, Ohio area, we need you to bring. 500 turkeys. Now, you won't bring 500 turkeys yourself, but we need 500 turkeys. 1600 East Devlin Granville Road. I think I got that address right. I'm a freaking genius if I did. Uh, New Albany, Ohio. And uh, we really need those turkeys. Our goal is 500. We will be there um, 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, about 4 to 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, 8 30 to noon Sunday this Sunday the next weekend we're there noon to six o'clock and um, next Sunday we are there from uh, the same time we are this Sunday uh, since I cannot think everything will be in the description below uh, that's all I got for now thank you guys for watching and please donate a turkey